Hello everyone, this is Michael Wolf for WatchReport.com. Today we're going to take a look at a new watch model and new watch company as, as far as I'm aware out of Copenhagen, Denmark. This is the Ricart and Mayer signature watch and this particular variation is known as the gun which stands for the gunmetal colored dial. The company does have a few other different options of this particular watch, dial colors and case finishings. The watch retails for $336.17 if you're outside of Europe. If you're inside of Europe, it's going to be uh, $420.21. <clears throat> the watch is composed of 316L stainless steel and it measures 38 millimeters across 47 millimeters from lug to lug and 20 millimeters uh, at the lug width the watch does also have Sometimes it's really hard finding watches at this price point that actually come with a sapphire crystal and this one does have a sapphire crystal. I'm not going to, to get into that sapphire crystal in this video presentation, but I'll have some comments uh, about that in the written review on watchreport.com so you'll have to go check that out. But the sapphire crystal is 1.8 millimeters thick if anyone is interested in that. The watch I'll go ahead and start it up as you can see is a quartz movement. It is powered by the Ronda Powertech Caliber 515. So it is a very reliable quartz movement. And I also want to point out the applied markers surrounding the dial and that there is some loom on the dial contained in the hour markers and in the hands, which you will see. Um, in the full written review, I'll have a, a shot of the the loom. <clears throat> now, the next thing I want to do is I want to show what it looks like on the wrist because I, I think everybody would probably, the first thing, at least I know the first thing that I noticed was the unusual design of the case. And I had originally thought, hey, that's not, that's just not going to look right on the wrist. It's not going to feel right on the wrist. But um, to my surprise, and I do have a, a seven and three quarter inch wrist, and believe it or not, even at 38 millimeters across and 47 lug to lug, this watch packs a lot of uh, substantiality on the wrist. It just, it, it is quite substantial which very, I mean, it really surprised me. Now, <clears throat> another really cool feature that I want to point out is I want everybody to, to get a good view of what the sides or what the, the case looks like from the sides. It is very square. I mean, there's an ever uh, so slight curvature to it, but it is quite square and it is quite raised off the case back as you can see. So just a very unique looking watch overall. Very uniquely designed, very uh, just angular. It's not rounded very much except for obviously just this the way the case rounds outward. But everything else is just kind of angular and square uh, really nice comes with a nice leather strap I chose the the brown leather strap nice buckle a uh, couple keepers as you would expect one fixed one floating a little bit of padding in the in the straps which uh, just makes the straps feel more substantial but then they also have a, a black strap all, uh, option so if you don't like that tan then this is another option that you could have and and some people may actually think that the the black strap would look better with the gunmetal dial but in in my opinion I like I think the brown looks really cool. So 
that is the brief overview of the Recart and Mayer Signature Watch. And again, they are based out of Copenhagen, Denmark. And the watch retails for $336.17 outside of Europe and $420.21 inside of Europe uh, with the tax. So definitely go on over to their website, check out their other offerings. If this um, unique looking watch uh, has piqued your interest, go over, check out our full written review on watchreport.com. I'll have some additional thoughts, comments, photos, etc. And um, I would like to thank each one of you for watching. I would like to thank Ricard and Mayer for su supplying this signature watch for this review. And stay tuned for my next video presentation here on Watch Report. Thank you.